Hello everybody, my name is Antonio Linhart. I am a junior, a third year student in the Jeffrey S. Frick School of Computer Science and Management at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. The biggest reason I would say is because it was close to home, but also offered a very rigorous curriculum combining computer science and business. This program also only allows around 40 people a year, so it's pretty prestigious as well as a great way to connect with the community. There's a set of core business and computer science classes that we take, and since I'm a computer science major, all of my business classes are taken here in Rakes, and some of my computer science classes are taken outside from my major. This helps out a lot in making friends and building great connections. And there's also a really great system of upperclassmen that you can ask for help since they were in the exact same situation as you multiple years ago. Since there's a 40 person max on pretty much all of the classes in Rakes, they're very individualized and engaging. It does depend on the class, whether it's a more computer science or business focused class. So for your more intro computer science classes, generally it's there's a one hour lecture followed by a one hour lab uh, where you get to work with a partner and you actually get to get hands on experience uh, and actually apply what you learned in class that day. For the more business side classes, a lot of those are project based. There will be some form of engagement activity during the class, whether that be like a uh, a group activity or like a way to discuss what you learned with a partner, uh, but there always is a way to engage with other people in the class. So in the program, there's really no classes that just have straight lecture without any engagement from the students. In the computer science classes, as for the assignments, uh, most of them in the first two years are individual work. And then as you get into your third and fourth year, you get into more group work. One of those group work activities is called Design Studio, which is our junior and senior capstone project here, where you work about 12 to 15 hours a week, which are pretty open-ended in being able to create a product uh, for a actual company, an actual a product that an actual company will use by the end of the year. So whether that is like a mobile app, uh, a hardware focused app, or something else, uh, you're able to work during that time with a team to create a product that the company will actually use. A lot of the business classes also weave in elements of entrepreneurship. So for those classes, you'll need to be creative and be able to come up with some innovative ideas with your team. I'd say first year especially hits a lot of the freshmen hard just because people never really learned how to study in high school because it was easy for them. That was one of the things that really applied to me is because in, in high school, I didn't have to have dedicated study time. There's a lot of times where I diverted half my time to study, half my time to playing games. And that's not something that really works out in college. So a lot of my first semester, my first year here, I needed to learn how to study. And that's a big thing. Uh, coming into college here. It's really important your first year not to overcommit to activities because coursework will catch up quick, especially when no one knows what to expect coming from their first college midterm. It's really important to block out times to get things done during the day so you don't have to stay up late doing assignments. My first year, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, to be honest, I didn't manage my time the best and I was really I was too involved in organizations. So I would definitely keep that in mind when you're looking for first year activities. As for the content, uh, when people see that this is a computer science and business pro program, they generally think that you need to have some sort of prior experience in computer science or business, but that is not true. Coming into this program, we assume zero experience and we start with the foundations in computer science and business. So the computer science foundations, things like object-oriented programming, data structures, discrete structures like Boolean algebra and proofs, and then the second year computer science, we move into algorithms and software engineering group work. We also take a three-part data and model sequence where we learn statistics and then some classified machine learning methods. And then in the third course, we apply it to supply chain management and business. In the business side of the courses, we take innovation-related classes to practice the process of innovating. So for your intro classes, for your intro two years, uh, you'll have fundamental business courses like accounting, economics, and finance. And then in your third and fourth year for computer science, you get into your junior senior capstone project, which is called Design Studio where you get to work with a business and actually create a product for them. And I've had a lot of fun with it on my team. I'm working with a local, local company called DMSI to work on a React Native mobile app for them. So the first two years in the Rakes program are very computer science and business core heavy, but then you can actually get into your major specific outside of your program classes after your first two years. The coursework in Rakes is best suited for people who have some interest in computer science and business concepts. No prior experience is needed, but interest is so, so, so important. If the prospect of sitting in front of a computer, learning programming languages and how to code excites you, this is a great place for you. 
if you're excited to maybe apply some business concepts using technology, this is also a really good place for you. And this is also a place where you can get some hands-on experience before you graduate working with design studio projects. I'd say, I think applications are generally due mid-October every year. Since we're a part of the University Honors Program, you have to apply through the Honors Program there and RIG separately. And for the RIG's application, it consists of an application with multiple essays. And then after those essays, you go through an in interview, which may be on site. And then you go do a group activity where you work together with other interviewees to solve a problem. And then after that, you'll receive your decision. To get in, it's recommended to have a 30 or better ACT score, graduate in the top 10% of your class, and taking some AP, IB, or dual enrollment courses while you're in high school, just to show that you can handle the academic rigor and be successful here. In the extracurricular section of your application, it would be helpful to have some degree of leadership experience and some demonstrated interest in computer science and business in high school, but that's not necessary. The biggest factor in entry outside of academics is your passion for the computer science and business curriculum. They really want to make sure that your personality fits with the school and that you make sure you fit the right school's core values. You don't have to follow them to a T, but going directly against one of them may not be favorable in your application. At a high level, they are, we are intellectually curious, we lead with humility, we express gratitude, we strive for excellence, we hold each other accountable, and we build resilience. In the Rakes program, you're pretty limited on what classes you can take inside the program, just because a lot of your classes first and second year are those core business computer science curriculum courses, which you can't get out of. I would say after you get done with your first two years, your college experience gets much more open in terms of what classes you can choose. The very first semester in the program, we work on making a four-year plan where you map out all of your classes for your four years here, and it really helps visualize your college experience. One of the great things about this university is that you can add so many minors onto your studies of things you're interested in, which are strictly outside of break school. So for me, I'm adding a minor in Spanish and math onto my computer science major. But I know a lot of people who are adding other kind of majors onto their studies as well. So I know people minoring in French, digital humanities, or some people even double majoring with computer science uh, with economics or marketing. So although we have the same computer science and business core, there are so many possibilities for what you could do with your studies. There's a really great job at being well recognized in the Nebraska area for internships. A majority of first year students get for internships their first summer, some being at local companies. After that, many students apply to bigger companies like Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Twitter. My sophomore year, likely everyone has an internship that wants one. Personally, I have had internships at Microsoft and Google. Some students also acquire internships during the school year or continue their internship from the summer into the school year, depending on how much free time they have. The Rake School hosts their own career fair separate from the university, which is usually in late September and many students have internships by the end of their first semester. This past year, I accepted my offer in late October for an internship that I won't even be going into until May. All students their first year live in the dorm. Everyone in the cohort takes classes together and lives in the same building. As you go to school longer, there are more opportunities to live outside the building, such as in Greek housing or off campus, depending on what you're involved in. But most people continue to live in the building at least for three or four of their four years here. This is really helpful for getting help from other students and hanging out with classmates outside of class. I have some really great memories on going for late night donut runs downtown or going to our local Raising Canes downtown uh, and then watching Survivor in the conference room of our dorm. If you're up really late some night and you are interested in partying or grabbing food or studying with someone, there's likely someone who's going to be awake at the same time you are and you can text in our group chat and there will likely be someone who wants to join you. Sitting and doing homework in our floor lounges is also a great way to meet friends and especially get advice from upperclassmen. Those upperclassmen took the exact same classes that you are taking and having someone with all that experience in addition to helping search and prepare for internships is really, really helpful. There is a program called CAST, which is the Center for Academic Success and Transition, where incoming students can get really helpful tips if they're struggling with coursework or having a hard time transitioning from high school to college life. On campus, we also have a free counseling and psychological services department at the medical center where students can go and receive help from a licensed therapist. And the costs of this service is included in your student fees, so anyone can go. In our union, we have a multicultural center where many of our diversity clubs have meetings. We have associations like the Black Student Union, the Mexican American Student Association that I'm a part of, and UNITE which is an organization that empowers indigenous people on campus. There's also a women's center in the union that has resources for LGBTQ identifying people 
and there's a food pantry where students can apply to receive food if they're food insecure. I think that all these resources are really helpful to being successful as a college student, and myself, I have made use of multiple of these different resources that I just listed. One quote that I've always thought back to for all of my college experience is, sleep more than you study, study more than you party, and party as much as you possibly can. I'm not much of a partier, and normally I focus on academics, but I realized that my first priority should be self-care and my mental health. Because if you don't have a good understanding and a good healthy mental health, uh, it's going to be really hard to keep up with the rest of your life. And that's going to be the most important thing to be successful in college. If you're ever going through a really difficult time, the Rick's professors and staff are very receptive and understanding. They know that things can be difficult, so it's important to reach out to them and let them know what's going on. Building connections is imperative. And going to office hours or going to teaching assistant hours, those are really, really important too, as you can get advice from upperclassmen and you can get some good advice even outside of the specific course. Everyone is really willing to help and you just have to put yourself out there to ask for it. If you're getting started in the Rick School, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, if you have any questions, you can re reach out to me and I know you're going to do fantastic. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.